welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do my aquas. Let's do my little aquarium. I forgot when I was just doing my other sign. I didn't put them in like I normally would. So I gave them a good mix. So I just took care of that. I just took care of that. All right. So it's going to be my Aquarians, okay? It's going to be your energy at the top row and then the external energy. But again, thousands, okay? I'm watching so it can go either way. See what's up on my aquas. First two weeks of December. We got love. Whoa, right off the damn bat. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Mm, wow. Huh? Ace of Hot, Ace of Pence. Queen of Cups. Three of Wands. Page of Pence reversed. Okay, you're thinking about your future. You're thinking about, do I offer, do I not offer? Well, why not? You got two brand new opportunities. Okay. Um, I don't know. I think what's happening... I think what's happening is going to offer a love right here and a new opportunity. I don't know if you're bugging out, but you're coming in as the queen of cups, male or female. Okay. It, it's loving energy. This is a newfound love, a newfound start. You're thinking about your future. You've been waiting for something to come in. Okay. It's just a matter of flipping that page of pens. You just don't know if you should make an offer or be out all by yourself. You're not using your intuition, is what this is saying. I feel like you want to, you want a new start with somebody over here, but you want to pick up and go. You want to pick up and leave with them. It's like you want to move. To me, and not this is all about intuition. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reversed. I don't want that one, but I want to see what it is. See if it comes back out. Two nines. It's the confidence, okay? But it's, it's the confidence to be... To be... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, vulnerable, okay? Apparently, you don't like being vulnerable. Because it's not a confidence thing. It's, it's, you're not using your intuition. You're plenty confident. I just, I, well, huh, but that contradicts itself because, well, not necessarily. Vulnerability is a completely different feeling. But it requires the two of you to be vulnerable to move forward. Let's find out about this page of pens. Page of pens, page of pens. So seven of wands, stand, stand your ground, stand your belief, okay? Um, duke it out. Nicely. <laughs> you know what I was just thinking of? You know, you know when you're younger and you're done with the uh, wrapping paper, the Christmas wrapping paper? Like, I can see you, like, taking those big tubes and, like, getting in a fight and, like, bonking people off of somebody's head. But anywho, it has nothing to do with nothing. Let's see what your external energy is. Externally to you, you have somebody Ex 
externally, you have somebody who's not looking for a contract right now, okay? Um, it looks like to me, Somebody, I gotta find out if this is ego related because this six of wands is throwing me off big time. Okay, King of Swords reversed. I don't know if that has anything to do with you or not. This person's not talking or. They're not getting into a contract because somebody's ego is in the way. I think they feel like they were left out in the cold, stabbed in the back. They always knew the love was there, but nothing ever came to fruition. This is somebody who wanted to take a journey with you. Okay. And I think they tried for a very long time. They're no longer in that Eight of Swords energy. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Reversed. It took them a long time to process that you or they were left out in the cold. I'm talking like a long time to process this. And I say you because it's the King of Swords reversed. I think they're like a contract. I, I think you're dealing with somebody spiritual because the Queen of Wands is spiritual too. But I think that's you, okay? Or you're going towards it knowing whether they're going to put the effort into it or not, okay? Because the two of you need to be vulnerable. But to me, this is a spiritual contract right now. And tell me about this three of pence. <clears throat> it was judgment, but I didn't, I didn't call it yet. The magician, yeah, spiritual. All right, not, but not using their spirituality in this situation. Whether there was a third party or not, I'm not reading it that way right now. This is not using your spirituality, not manifesting. This person, this exterior energy, whether it's dealing with you or a different Aquarian, they think they're Aquarian, their ego's in the way, okay? You guys aren't even talking. I think you or a different Aquarian left them out in the cold, and it took them forever to process that this connection was not coming together as much as they felt it. I think they knew, like I said, they had a journey with you. It took them a really long time to, to untrap themselves for a situation. It Quite the sorrow. Tell me about this five of... um. I think somebody, if there is a third party, somebody's feeling guilty, but temperance came out, so I don't know. But if it is a third party and someone's feeling guilty, they feel guilty for doing it now, but I don't see it that way. There's still healing involved here. This person needs to, to heal from whatever happened, either with you or a different Aquarian, because they wanted that connection. They wanted to take a journey. Oh, I can see right here that they couldn't grasp. They couldn't, somebody, cross watches, couldn't comprehend why they were left out. For damn sure. Five of pence. Um... Yeah, King of Cups, there was just no feelings there. So they stopped investing time or they realized that this person just didn't have feelings. They're, they were investing elsewhere. I think they realized it was just the investment was elsewhere and not on the connection that they felt. Okay, tell me about that Two of Cups because that connection's still there. It's just not together. Two of Cups, Two of Cups. Power. The world. They cut it off. It could have not, it, it was not easy for that person to cut that off. But with the wheel here, something's about to go in their direction. They're tired as shit, but something's about to go in their direction. For damn sure the universe got this one's back right now. 
I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but things are about to turn for this person. All right. So with these cards, this is either you or the cross watchers energy, okay? Aquarius and cross watchers. But if this, if you're trying to get this person back, you might have a chance because the connection's still here. It's just they walked away from it because they they stuff came into reality for them, so it got wrapped up. You know, they started their own journey. They they cut their cords. They, they, it's the end of the sorrow for them. Like, it took them a while to heal, my little Aquarians. But something's about to go in their direction, whether it's you or somebody else. They, holy shit, did they put in the work to, to put themselves on a new path? I'll tell you that. Whoa, okay. It says, they broke your heart, fuck them. So if this was the other way around and there was a third party, fuck them. Okay. Shit's going down with your job too. Reevaluate, change your perspective or fucking quit. I don't really see anything going down at your work, but these are external messages. Okay. You think someone's lying? They are. So, I don't know if someone's trying to pull a, pass, a fast one over you. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I do feel like there's something over here. Like, I don't know if we're working with two energies. I'm not playing. Because I almost called it and I didn't want to complicate you guys. Because I don't see any of that over here. And all these co different colors, too. All different types of energies. Even though they all kind of correlate with something. So it, I, I don't know what to say here. I don't know if my Aquarians had two people in their lives. I don't know if there was a third party somewhere. But I will tell you it took somebody a long time for that connection to, to let go. And they're just starting healing. They just got on the path. They just started healing. For others, like I said, I, I could feel like a third party somewhere too. So I don't know if somebody did something to you or vice versa. But regardless, I'm telling you right now, if somebody cheated and broke your heart, I think that's where it's fuck it. But it could be this scenario too. Could have been a long time ago, but there was still cheating. Okay, something's going down at work. All right, but somebody's still lying. So I feel like something just wrapped up with somebody. It's always something. I love you guys. Take care. Where is...